Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. So for today's video, I wanted to do a winter handbag essentials video. I thought this was a really good idea because it's season specific and it isn't handbag specific. So regardless of the bag that I'm using, all of these things are things I like to have with me in the winter time. I just thought this was a really good idea. I'm probably not the first person to think of it, but when I thought of it, I was like, wow, I really need to film that. So everything will be down below in the description box. Please subscribe and thumbs up if you enjoy it. And let's get started. I'm going to start with hand lotion because I always have really dry hands in the winter time so I love having a really good hand lotion with me, something that sinks in fast and won't just feel like slimy on my hands for a long time if you know what I mean because that is the worst. So the first one is by Soap and Glory. This is hand food so it's um, Sugar Crush Hydrating Hand Cream and I mentioned this in my last haul video I think it was this is only four dollars from Ulta. It smells amazing and I just really really like this one So if I don't have this one then I have this one and I bought it at a small boutique a few weeks ago It's French so I'm not even going to try to say the name of it because honestly I can't really read any of it but it has a lavender scent which is one of my favorite scents it's just super relaxing this is extremely hydrating a little will go a long way with this as well which is really nice and i just think the packaging is really pretty so if i don't have this one then i have this one and then the next thing i'm going to mention are facial sprays now i get like really dry on my face in the winter if i'm not really dry then i'm just really shiny it's like one or the other which is so annoying i kind of forgot about that until like a week or two ago when it started to get really cold again so i have two here the first one's by evian and i know it's just water that's in a spray can like i get it but if you have super dry skin in the winter on your face then you totally know what I'm talking about when I say it's just really uncomfortable. So having water in a spray bottle is just like seriously, but if you have really dry skin, then you totally understand having that. And the other one is by Mario Badescu. This one has rose water with aloe and herbs and I know they just added fragrance to this, so some people who really loved this in the past say that it's not as good for sensitive skin anymore, but I still really like it. It also says it can be sprayed in hair, which I don't know why anyone would spray this in their hair. I don't really see what it does for hair. So if you spray this in your hair for any reason, then let me know because I don't know, I just think that's surprising that it's for like your face and for your hair. So I really like that though, just to kind of like hydrate if I'm feeling really dry, it feels really nice and it smells good. So. One or the other I like to have of those. And the last thing for the face are these oil absorbing sheets. I just have the ones here from Tarte. And I'm not super like specific to a brand, but if you are looking for one that's just really accessible and easy to find, I actually love the ones from Walgreens, just like the store brand. I think those are really good if you aren't someone who lives really close to like an Ulta, Sephora, something like that. So yeah, I love these. And if you're not familiar with them, it's just a like sheet of paper and you just will tap it on your face and it will absorb the excess oil. I think these are such a lifesaver. I love having Having these in my bag and then I also have a compact with me all the time and I really recommend the ones from forever 21 because they are so inexpensive I think they are like three dollars each and they always have so many prints like I have a floral one obviously but some of them have text on them and for three dollars it's really hard to beat that price so it's just has a mirror on the top and a mirror on the bottom. Super cute and it's perfect for just throwing in your bag. Phone charger, of course, which is not that exciting. And then same with just having like small mints in my bag. I'll pass over that because that's not exciting either. But I always like to have a few products for my lips, of course. So the first is what I'm wearing right now and it's by Bite. I love this. I'm pretty sure the shade is rhubarb and it's super small on here. I can't even read it, but I have the links for everything already so I'm pretty sure that's what it's called and I really like these because it just 
spins out from the bottom here and I like that the shade is pretty neutral. It is a little bit dark, but I feel like it looks good with a little bit of makeup, with a lot of makeup. It's just really versatile and so perfect for winter. It feels hydrating, it feels really light on the lips, and it's not heavy or sticky or anything like that. So I love these from Bite. I also always have one of these Vaselines with me, and this is just a lip balm that's in a tin, and there are probably like four or five of these. And this is the pink bubbly one. I totally fell for this. It was a few months ago on Facebook. It was an article about these and all of the pink bubbly ones are exclusive to Walgreens. It's supposed to be inspired by Sparkling Rosé and everyone was saying all of these amazing things about it and I totally fell for it. I bought it I think the same day that it came out and I bought two which is so stupid and I open it and it just smells like flower petals. I just think I was expecting like way too much out of it. So yeah, funny story, but I love all of these. They are just so good. They soak in really quickly. They're super hydrating. So yeah, I love these. And then I just have a pair of sunglasses and a pair of regular glasses that I like to wear when I'm driving at night, which I feel like that is really often now since it gets dark so early. That's like the worst part about this time of year. But anyways, the sunglasses are Sojo's or Soho's, probably Soho's. I found these on Amazon and I'm just really impressed with these because with shipping, these were less than $20, so I was expecting like Forever 21 level. They actually feel like pretty nice for the money, and everything's just super sturdy. They come in, I think, six or seven versions, so if you aren't a fan of like the simple ones, they do have some pretty flashy ones as well. I just always like to have a few sunglasses that are pretty inexpensive, ones that I can just like throw in my purse and I don't have to worry about them. The other ones are a pair of regular glasses from Tory Burch, and I really don't wear these that often, but whenever it's shiny on the roads, like in the winter from snow or from rain, stuff like that, it's hard for me to see at night. So I have these from Tory Burch. I've had these for a long time and this is like a tortoise shell, I think it's called. So yeah, I just have these for driving at night. And that is everything for this winter handbag essentials video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Everything will be down below in the description box. And please subscribe and thumbs up if you did like it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!